Hello and welcome to All Things Nitty's Crochet Channel. This week's project is a little dress keyring. It's perfect for gifts or random acts of crochet kindness drops. Um, I use a 2mm crochet hook and an extended half double crochet throughout this pattern. However, you can use any yarn, any size hook or a double crochet throughout. Using the extended half double crochet makes a much thinner and more lightweight keyring with a tighter uh, weave which I prefer it. I've done it all different ways and this worked out the best for me. So that's what I recommend. However, I am going to be showing you um, the the demonstration using a 3mm hook just and then you'll be able to see the difference. Okay, so begin with a chain of 16. Okay, so with your 16 stitches, you're going to slip stitch into the very first chain. Okay, so insert your hook into the very first chain here and slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both those loops. Now place the tail over your working yarn to the other side and chain two. Into the very same chain here, you're going to work another extended half double crochet. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Into the next stitch, make sure you're going under two loops here and work your repeat which is two extended half double crochet or double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, continue to do that and I'll get you at the end of the row. Okay, so at the end of round one you should have something that looks like this. Make sure you have 32 stitches before moving on. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch into the last chain and we're going to chain two. So the first stitch uh, of these rounds is different. We're going to chain two. That counts as our first stitch. Into the base of the same stitch, we're going to work another extended half double crochet or double. So it's increase. So that's your increase stitch. In the next stitch, just work one extended half double crochet. And that's the repeat for round two. It's increase one. Into the next, it's going to be an increase. So two in that one, one in the next. Continue to do that for round two. Increase, one. All the way around and I'll get you at the end. Okay, so at the end of this round, you should have 48 stitches. To begin round three, sorry, we're going to slip stitch into the stitch uh, and close the loop. Pop a little stitch marker into this stitch at f just for the moment. And now that stitch counts. We're going to slip stitch in the next five stitches. So slip stitch in five. One, two, three, four, five. And the last one. So you should have six in total. Okay. Now, make sure, we're going to take a wee second and just mark out where we're going to start a row. Okay. So fold your work in half, like so, making sure that this stitch is right at the the fold line so that it makes it all even so we're on the back side of our work here we're going to begin working 12 single crochets in the next stitches okay so we'll work 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now just make sure fold your work in half and just make sure you have six stitches left 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we chain six Sorry, we slip stitch six. We're going to work 12 single crochets in the next 12 single crochets. And again, on the first stitch here, we're going to pop in a little stitch marker. Okay, so into the first single crochet there, pop a stitch marker in. Okay, now work 12 single crochets. I'm going to speed this bit up, okay? 12 single crochet. <laughs> Okay, so now we've worked 12, and as you can see, this is going to be where we start making the skirt part of our dress. Now we're going to skip 12, okay, making sure that you have 6 before the fold line and 6 after, okay? So skip 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, into that very next stitch. So you're going to have to fold your work in half, here, find the 12th stitch, 
make sure you have six from the corner too, four, six. So you have to bring the yarn to this other side, pop it under the stitch and work your single crochet. And that makes the sleeve, okay? Continue with another 12 single crochet. Done your 12 stitches, we're going to connect this side to the front here with a slip stitch, okay? So pop your pin out, reach over to the first stitch here, oh, and work a slip stitch, okay? You can now pop this pin out as well. We're going to begin the next round by chaining two. Again, this counts. Okay, so that counts as your first stitch. We're going to work one more extended half double crochet into the same stitch. So that's our increase done. We're going to work one extended half double crochet in the next. Increase one. So that's the repeat for this round. You're going to increase, work one single crochet. Uh, sorry, work an increase, then one extended half double crochet. Increase one, increase one. Continue to do that all the way around and I'll get you at the end. Okay, so at the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. And again, to finish off, we're going to slip stitch in the top of your chain two from the row below. Okay, so slip stitch. The next round starts the same. We're going to chain two. Into the same stitch, work an extended half double crochet. And that counts as your increase. Now you're going to work two extended half double crochet. So in the next stitch, work an extended half double crochet and in the next. So it's increase two. So increase, then work two stitches, one in each. Increase two all the way around. If you're struggling to keep up, you can always change the speed of the video. In the top right hand corner, there's a little cog. If you press that, you can change the speed and speed it up or slow it down, depending on um, how you're getting on. Okay, so repeat, increase and then work two stitches. Do that all the way around and I'll get you at the end. At the end of the round, you should have 48 stitches. And again, we're going to finish this round with a slip stitch into the top of that chain two. And then to begin the next round, you're going to chain two. This counts as your first stitch. This round is just one extended half double crochet in each stitch. So into the next, work one extended half double crochet, work one in each stitch around, and I'll get you at the end to... Uh, and we'll work the the bottom of the dress, then the belt. Okay, so one in each, all the way around. See you then. Okay, so at the end of the round, you should still have 48 stitches. We're now going to work the frill. So into the top of this chain here, insert your hook. We're going to change colour, okay? So grab your contrasting colour. Make a little loop, like so. Pull the colour through and finish that slip stitch, okay? So pull it right through, all the way. Fasten off. Uh, sorry, cut off your green and put both tails over the top of the working yarn and we're ready to move on, okay? So into the first stitch here, you're going to work a slip stitch and in the next stitch, you're going to work a single crochet. However, we're going to finish this and build it into a double crochet. So under the, you can see here, we have the left loop and the right loop. Just go under the left loop Yarn over and pull through, you have two loops, yarn over, pull through two. Into the same stitch here, we're going to work three extended half double crochet. In the same stitch. Skip one. So skip one. Here's our next stitch, but we're going to go one below in between the extended half double crochets and we're going to work a single crochet. Skip one, in the stitch, do the same to make your little fan. So single crochet, go into the left loop, pull a loop through, then when you have two, yarn over, pull through two. In the same stitch, three extended half double crochet. We're going to skip one. Here's our next stitch. One below, work your single crochet. Show you it one more time. Skip one. Here's the stitch. Make a single crochet to begin. 
then under the left loop. Yarn over, pull through. When you have two, yarn over, pull through two. Three extended half double crochet. Skip one, work your single. Repeat that all the way around, and I'll get you uh, when we've just got one more fan to do, okay? Continue, and I'll get you there. Okay, so I've just got one more uh, little fan to work, so I'm going to skip one in the stitch, build the first, and then work three extended half double crochet. One. Okay, skip one. In the stitch where we changed our colour, we're going to go below it and work our single crochet. Okay, and then into the stitch where we change colour, you're going to slip stitch and fasten off. Okay, so oh, fasten off. Now, this is at the point where I prefer to take the time and sew in all these little ends. Um, it, it just saves so much time messing around later that's where I had to change a colour so take your time sew in all these ends and then we'll work the the belt okay so sew in all your little ends just now okay so now that all your ends are tied in or and sewn in we're now going to begin the belt okay so into the round that we made single crochets we're going to do some surface slip stitch okay so find your corner where you you joined okay and under that stitch like so, grab a little loop. This time though, leave a long tail on this loop and that just helps sewing when sewing it in later, okay? So you're going to pull your loop through, put your long tail over the working yarn and hold it at the back of your work, okay? So the sleeve should be towards you and what we're going to do is working into the surface, we're going to go under that single crochet, like so. And we're going to slip stitch. So yarn over, pull the loop through, and then continue, pull the loop through again. Now, where the working yarn is coming out of, that's where we're going to insert our hook first, then under the single crochet, slip stitch, pull it through, pull it through again. Same again, we're going to insert our hook into the base where the working yarn is, into the next stitch, pull the loop through, Continue that slip stitch. So that's this is how we're going to do make the belt. So you can see it leaves like a chain um, effect, and that way uh, the belt can never move. Okay, so continue to do that. Be the corner, uh, not the corner, the join. Sorry. Continue your slip stitches. Okay, so now we're at the where we joined our work. Again, we're going through that and through the next stitch. Okay, now when you're right in the very, the, the, where your fold line is, you're going to chain one and continue on the other side of our work, working into just the sit under, sorry, the single crochets. That chain one just helps it not pinch in at the sides, okay? Continue working under the single crochets, I'll get you at the end, okay? Okay, so I'm just about to work the last stitch right in the fold line. So here. And then we're going to match up the other side by chaining one. And then into the very first stitch where we joined, try and get right through the middle of the V. You're going to work your last slip stitch in there. Okay, so don't uh, fasten off. You're just going to cut your yarn and pull it straight out, okay? Then with your sewing needle or your darning needle, whatever you're using, put that on the hook. Now I'm going to show you a way to make this uh, nice and neat, okay? So once you've got your yarn your hook, pull this forward. You're going to skip one, so skip this stitch here and place your sewing needle through the next one along. Pull it closed, okay? Now you're going to work back on yourself and go into the stitch right at the fold line, okay? So pop it away from yourself. And that just completes it, and it keeps it nice and neat. Now, your tail 
pop it through to the other side. Okay, pop that one through. And you remember you left a long tail at the start. So you're going to do the same with that one. You're going to put it on the needle, go through your work to um, put your hook, put the uh, needle to the back, okay? Close to one another and tie them, okay? So I do have a dressmaker's knot here. So wrap it around just twice and pull it really tight, okay? That should, you should be able to pull that tight without it warping your dress. And it's finished now. Um, the What I do next is I cut away the one that's not on my sewing needle and I sew this closed, okay? Oh. What I do is I fold the dress in half, exposing the back side of these stitches where they're a different colour, okay? I go through the top one away from myself at this side, then the next stitch I come and put it towards myself through the first and under the one that faces it, push it all the way through. Now we work away from ourselves, so go under this loop. Sorry, I don't know what there. So go under that loop and this loop and push away and towards yourself. So continue doing that and then I'll just show you how to pop the actual keyring in. So away from yourself, towards yourself, okay? Okay, so I'm just working the last one and then you can pull it closed just so that little end in. I do have one request. See all these little ends and loose bits of thread? See when you're putting them in the bin? Make sure that they're inside something like a crisp packet or a bit of tinfoil, something because those little ends, all these little ends, if they get into the wild, they really, really damage birds' feet, especially pigeons, which, as you know, are rescue and loose threads are a killer to them, okay? Fasten that off, turn it round the right way, and we're ready to add the key ring, okay? You can really see the difference in size between a 3mm. So this one was made on a 3mm, this one was made on a 2mm. So you can really see the difference in size. Okay, so with your pliers, you're going to um, open your O-ring, which is, find your middle stitch, so look, Fold your work in half, and that finds your middle two stitches, which is those ones there. You're going to pop the ring under those two stitches. Like so. Pinch to close, not all the way though. Then, close the O-ring by working it towards yourself so that they spiral. Then grab each end, and this takes a, a, a little bit of strength, but you're going to bend it in on itself, turn it round, do the same on the other side, grab it with the needle nose and make it spiral onto itself and that's a much more secure uh, chain, okay? That was the little dress keyring. Um, please make sure when you, if you're uh, purchasing the materials using the links below, those are affiliate links, which means at no extra cost to you, um, if you enable cookies, it will pop up asking you to accept. If you accept them, that will track. And when you purchase the materials, I receive a small commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but that's a great way to sponsor uh, and help the channel purchasing materials and stuff to keep these tutorials free. Okay, please make sure you're still subscribed. Like this video, please share it. And um, if you do share the video, please tag me um, for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.